The U-2 is widely accepted as the most difficult aircraft to fly in the world, especially during takeoff and landing. Meet the chase cars of the 99th Expeditionary Reconnaissance Squadron. The drivers, fellow U-2 pilots, guide the U-2 up as it launches and down as it lands. So the whole time in, uh, as a mobile chasing the landing aircraft, the main objective is ensuring that the pilot's safely landing the aircraft, calling him down to two feet, um, holding him off there, and then the plane will just kind of settle back down on the ground from two feet. Good landing, make sure he gets the spoilers and the speed brakes up, full stop, and then uh, we get the pogos uh, pinned in, which you'll see later on. Two, two feet, tail slightly up at two, one, one inches. Although fun, the chase car mission ensures pilot safety every time a U-2 pilot launches or lands. Well, it's, it's not every day that it, you, know, you can go around saying like, oh yeah, I drove on, the run, on a runway at an airfield and chased an airplane. I can't really describe it. Um, you're going to see it here in a little bit, but there's nothing like driving at 100 miles an hour as you're converging on an airplane and lining up about 20 to 30 feet behind him as you're giving him calls, helping, helping him to land after you know he's had a very, very long sortie um, to help the guys out in uh, Afghanistan or Iraq. The original U-2 first flew in 1955 and gathered intelligence during the Cold War. But over the years, the role of the U-2 has transformed to meet requirements in modern conflicts. Uh, the missions are a lot, a lot more dynamic than they used to be in the past. And we're doing a lot of good things for the guys on the ground, uh, helping them out with a lot of near real-time information passing that we can provide um, as a high altitude uh, ISR asset. Not many squadrons have government vehicles with 361 horsepower capable of reaching 60 miles per hour in just over five seconds. Then again, not many squadrons routinely chase airplanes. Air Force Staff Sergeant Daniel Delgado, 380th Air Expeditionary Wing, Southwest Asia.